blue, like HEC and the Mediterranean Sea. And the Tonton Flanger. Tennis. Federer. And for the, the elegance, the style and, uh, and the fair play. I graduated from HEC 30 years ago. I joined a bank, Paribas, then a group which is now called Angie, at the time Lyonnaise des Eaux, as a financial controller. Then I had the first major opportunity in my career to be the CFO of a group in packaging, TechPack, and I became the COO, the CEO, the chairman, and ultimately the chairman of the division of Pechinet, which owned this company. I then became the chief operating officer of Lagardère Media. I served my country as the first chief of staff of Prince Albert when he became the sovereign prince of Monaco and 10 years ago after I was done with this mission I moved to London and became a partner of Apollo. Why do we go home with this useless love affair? First of all my roots are there. I was born and raised there. My family arrived in the middle of the 19th century and all of them have been for several generations uh, in Monaco. They've been working there and I'm the first one uh, moving to HEC who decided to spend a lot of time abroad. So when I was asked by Prince Rainier, but after Prince Rainier died by Prince Albert to come and serve the country, I thought, and that's why I mentioned to you it's important in, uh, in all our lives, uh, I decided it was important to serve my country at the beginning of the new reign. Uh, secondly, it's a lot of fun and a very interesting job. Uh, because you have to think about uh, the strategy and the future of a country. It's a bit different from a democracy because a monarchy is a long-term um, investment uh, as an individual. Uh, you know that what you're going to do today is going to be valid for decades. So um, I thought it was the best way to also give a sense to my personal and business life. Well, I would even say it's only positive. Usually when you have dislocations, imagine it would be a real tough time for a country or this kind of change with res you know, companies being restructured, the balance between the various countries changing. For investors, it's always a source for new opportunities. Usually it starts at the beginning of May and ends early August. Okay. But 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 you don't, I mean you don't care. I mean this is a very active city. You have so many things to do and you're not you're relying upon the weather. You just pick up the activities that you want to have depending on how it is. Coming from Monaco I'm used to uh, 300, 300 days of sun every year, uh, I don't pay attention to this. I'm involved in 10 to 15 foundations. Not all of them or not all these positions are public because it becomes public only when I'm in charge. But I give money, I give time, I give attention to a large number of them. And I think it's very important to, as an advice also, to dedicate 10% of your time and ultimately of your money to this kind of action. Uh, you can also do it if you want to be involved into politics. And if you can't or if you don't want to, you give to this kind of, of, of major foundation and association because they are changing the world too. Think big. Always think big. Do what you want. But do it well at high level and think big.